Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Whoa. <laughs> okay, this place is so unstable. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, I'm a Muslim flatterer and web developer. And inshallah, in this video, we are going to talk about Hive and uh, other databases when you can and you cannot use them when you are developing your Flutter application. So if you have just started to use Flutter, you may find it a little bit difficult to grasp and understand when you should use Hive shared preferences and other databases as for example SQLite or MongoDB or Firebase and things like, like that and uh, when you should use one of them or the other. Since this video is not about uh, relational databases versus uh, non-relational ones, so I will not stress into this argument and uh, there are a lot of good and fantastic videos that explain this thing really well. When we talk about shared preferences, Hive and SQLite, they all have in common that they use the internal memory of your device. So basically you should use Hive, SQLite or shared preferences if you want to make things inside your device. To store, for example, the settings or other things that are related with your device and the small size data. And you have to understand that when someone downloads your application, they will download all this data or they will be able to create this kind of data internally and this will occupy your internal storage for example let's suppose that you are creating an application that create notes so you are allowed to create notes and you are allowed to see your notes internally so you don't have you don't need internet to access this data at the other end Firebase, MongoDB, or MySQL, or other are a different kind of databases because they allow you to store data in a server, for example. So the data, it is not stored in your device, so you have to make uh, an, a call, an HTTP call to this service or this server and you have to get back this data so basically if you don't have internet you are not allowed to make these calls if you want to create an application that contains article you have to store your articles in a server so in this way multiple devices they can connect to this server and get the latest articles or all, or all articles but if you store your articles in your device the other devices don't have any way to access this data this is the reason why you should use a, a server to store your data for example if you are storing articles and for other type of data you should use something like Hive or SQLite or other things like that so thank you so much for watching and uh, see you the next time inshallah. If you found this video useful, please subscribe and like the video. And uh, if you want to check out my channel, I make things about Flutter or things like JavaScript, Node.js and all the computer science uh, related stuff. Not only I like to do things about learning in general, so you may find things about uh, uh, learning psychology and other stuff and other stuff inshallah